My name is Ching Xu. I'm a professor in the Materials Science Engineering Department and Chemistry Department at University of California, Berkeley. I'm also a senior faculty scientist in Materials Science Division at Lawrence Berkeley National Lab. I specialize in soft matters, including synthetic polymers and biomicromolecules, such as proteins and enzymes. 1989 was a very special year. I was transitioning from being in the middle school to high school, and I was also in the process to discover myself, people around me, as well as the world around me. When the wall fell, it was uh, quite a big deal, quite a big event, especially given that I was growing in China and the being living on the campus, I've been seeing uh, what happened in the spring and the summer. Uh, lots of protests, a lot of gatherings, and a lot of posters. Um, when the wall fell, um, it, it took uh, quite some time to process that it could even happen. Our study aimed to break down the wall to achieve programmable plastic degradation by embedding enzyme. Plastics are wonderful materials, but they are problematic. Nature are really resourceful, to mitigate different wastes. The idea is that if we can leverage biological process used by nature in the plastic engineer from the get-go, it's possible to have a harmonious coexistence between nature and the plastics. The question is, how can we modulate the biological process inside of the plastic such that the reaction happen at the right place at the right time and proceed with the right direction to give you the product of desired. And most importantly, all this has to be done within the umbrella of uh, existing infrastructure as well as consumer behavior. So in our study, we engineer a jacket on the surface of the enzyme such that enzyme can be nanoscopic dispersed inside of the plastic. And we also modulate the interaction between the enzyme and the plastic at the molecular level, such that the enzyme are cleaving off each individual monomers from the chain end. This allows us to convert over 95% of the plastic into small molecules that can be subsequently used as food for the microbes in the soil. Plastic problem has urgency. It has to be solved now, but there's no silver bullet. Scientists and engineers have to work with different stakeholders. In fact, all people have to come together to work together. The second aspect is we want to leverage biological process. We want the enzyme to work for us, in this case, to eat plastics. But it's equally important for us to make sure that we put the leash on this enzyme so that we can deactivate the process as needed to avoid a secondary contamination.